Hello, my name is Donal and I want to help you build better apps. In the third and final installment of this um, series working with APIs, we're going to learn how to use uh, an, another API called countryflags.io. So just to get you up to speed, um, if you didn't watch the first video, what we did was we introduced the Yandex Translate component. We looked at the Yandex API, how to make requests. So we've got a little translate text box here, a translate button. Then in the second video, um, so in the first video, we had to we only translate into one language. Um, we we're just getting our heads around the API. In the second video, then we used parallel lists in our code uh, with two list pickers to choose the language from and the language to. Uh, and the final thing then what we're going to do is I'm going to put in two little images here. I'm going to set these to be 64 pixels by 64 pixels, I think, like this, uh, 64 by 64. Um, what we're going to do is display the uh, flags or the yeah the country flags the national flags 64 by 64 that's a little bit large let's go for uh, 32 by 32 instead that'd be fine 32 by 32 much better uh, 32 by 32 here like so okay so what is the country flags a API over here, I've got countryflags.io uh, loaded in my browser. And this is, again, a really simple API to get started with. So if you're just learning about APIs, uh, this is a great place to begin. Uh, essentially, all you do is um, to make a request, you go to countryflags.io. And then there's three different parameters to specify in the URL in your request. The first thing, after the first forward slash, you put in the flag that you want. There are also flag styles or flag themes, they call them. So you can have a flat theme or a shiny theme. You can have a little look here. There's a uh, flat image or kind of a glossy shiny image. And then the final thing to do is to specify one of the valid sizes. So the country codes are all here. We'll go through those in more detail. Themes, flat or shiny, they're your options. And then sizes, as you can see, can be anywhere from 64 uh, down to 16. So 16, 24, 32, 48, or 64. Over in this tab then, what I've got is uh, just I've opened up, copied and pasted in the um, example here. So you can see countryflags.io forward slash BE for Belgium. And then we've got the flat and then 64. So we could replace that with shiny if we wanted. And that would return the shiny icon. I'm going to go back to flat. Uh, so in our app, we have French, so that'd be F or, okay, that's great. We also have uh, DE for Deutschland, so Deutsch and Deutschland, that's fine. Uh, what about España? Okay, great, that's fine for Espanol as well. Uh, but we run into a little bit of a problem when we try to get the English flag. So they don't uh, give us like a, a George's Cross or anything like that. Um, we could uh, use the um, Union Jack, the British flag. Uh, depending on where you're from, maybe it'd make more sense to use uh, the American flag. Um, of course, you can use any other flag, any other English-speaking na nation that you wanted. So if you're an Aussie or a New Zealand developer, you could use the Australian or New Zealand flags. Uh, and of course, if you're like me, you could throw in the Irish flag as well. Um, but what we're going to do here, as you can probably see, is uh, have to set up another list in our code. Uh, so if you didn't um, follow the previous tutorial, with um, setting up parallel lists, uh, I'd recommend that you go back and take a look at that now. So we've got a list of languages here and we've got a list of codes. And one thing then, the last thing we're gonna do here is create a list of flags like so. List of flags, like that. And let's uh, do, 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 change these back to the way they were. So just to um, illustrate uh, what um, parallel lists look like, we were using the internal inputs. Uh, so the final thing we're going to do is add in four different flags into our list of flags. So let's duplicate this here. When our app loads up, let's move it over here, give ourselves a bit of space. When our app loads up, we want to add four flags to our list of flags. So French, German, Spanish are fine, uh, but for English then, we need to choose whatever flag that we want to display. Um, when the app loads up then as well, what we'll do is set the image picture one dot picture, uh, image one dot picture and the image two dot picture as well. And we're gonna use the um, flag code as well. So we're gonna need um, 
line from, line to, and we're going to have maybe flag from and flag to, I suppose. So let's duplicate that there. Let's get flag from, from, and let's get flag to. Um, and then this would be whatever country you go for. So let's throw in the Irish flag here for a second. Um, where's our line two going? Let me find that in a minute. Oh, did I delete it? Yeah, okay. Um, so that's not a good idea. Let's duplicate that. So we'll have um, flag from, from, um, and a uh, flag too, like that. Okay, so we'll have to make a few little changes here, but um, what we're going to do then is set the picture. So we're going to use the URL we've got here, and the only thing then that we're going to change out is the um, country code like that. So let's copy this. So, and then back in Thunkable, we're going to join together uh, three pieces of text, I think two strings and one variable. Uh, so we've got two strings there. And the first image is going to be our flag from, like so. Uh, so we'll put in our URL. So we want um, www.countryflags.io forward slash, like that. We don't have any forward slashes in our, um, in our flag codes. So let's get rid of that bit here. And then what I'm going to do is go forward slash the style and forward slash the size dot PNG. So I'm going to cut that from the first string and I'm going to paste it down here in the second string. Hopefully that makes sense then. So I'm just doing the exact same thing as we did with our country code. I'm going to duplicate this here then. And um, we're going to change that to our flag two. That should be image number two here as well. Uh, so that means then that when this loads up, we'll have the uh, Irish flag here and the French flag beside it. And the other thing that we want to do then is, I wonder could we put those in a procedure? Um, maybe we should. Let's put those into a procedure, I think. So we're going to reuse this. Um, so show flags, maybe something like that. Show flags. Like so put these, all these blocks in there. We're going to uh, put the show flags block, or show flags procedure there, and um, when list picker one is picked, we can, maybe we're doing too much work here, but we can, at the moment, this will work, but not necessarily, it's not necessarily the most efficient. We could do something like that as well. Okay, so let's try this out in our live test. So over in our live test, then the default, I had put in IE for my English flag. Uh, maybe US would make more sense because there's a lot more uh, English speakers in the US than there are in Ireland. Got a little French flag over here. Uh, maybe we could put a little bit of space or a little padding in between these. Um, but generally then, I'm quite happy with this. I might put everything in the center as well. So 32 by 32 looks pretty good. We can't make the flags... Um, something in between, uh, we could make them 48, 48 by 48 would probably be a better height here. Um, so the default uh, that we had used was um, English to French. And we've missed a little bit in our code, so we're going to have to go back and fix that. Uh, so in our code, uh, we want to also set the flag from and the flag to. So that's pretty important. Set the flag from. Uh, that's here, and that's going to be from our list of flags. List of flags, and same thing here. We need to make sure that we set our flag to, and that has to happen before we call the show flags. So our flag to is this block here, and also from our list of flags. Okay, so now if we go and uh, change our selection up a little bit, we should be able to see the flags changing. Um, if we go English, if we say French. We go to Spanish there like that. Um, and then also what I can do is um, change the change that flag code in there. Don't forget to reset your app as well. So let's say we wanted to go for the um, US flag instead. I'll replace that with US. And if we were to change out this code here as well, that'll be US here. 
And if we reset our designer, um, so let's just make a small change in the design. Let's reset the screen here. And you can see now we've got the American flag in it as our English, uh, tricolor here as our um, French flag. And so that's um, our second API covered. So I hope you enjoyed this little mini series on working with APIs. We've learned about the Yandex API, and we've also introduced the Country Flags API. If you'd like to see more videos on APIs, please let me know in the comments below. Um, and if you have a particular API that you'd like to work with, feel free to post a link to that as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to share it with your friends and share it to your social media followers. Uh, keep on thugging and I will see you in the next video.